Arizona has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000 yards rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safety's coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of seven yards. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Little handoff. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Super effort by the defense here to stuff him at the line and force the offense into a fourth down situation. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. Nice run there. That's a two six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Throws complete, he's got room to work. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Looking for the corner. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He's hit and taken down. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. The 10. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield.
this kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Set. Oklahoma! And he gets a yard on the run. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. going to be stopped short. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 34-yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Red, 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 red. To the 20, to the 10, and a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. Brought down at about the 41. But this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. In the passing game, the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers is very important. Here he has an open tight end, and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. Looks middle, got his back. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Now, 
down. They need to get it inside the 49. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. We've played one. The Wildcats lead 14-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Gives it to the back. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense was all over that draw play. And he got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on their own 37. He's out of bounds around the 41-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He chucks it downfield. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. 288. And he's tackled right away. Number 53 on the tackle. At the yard line. First down. Mike 6, 33. 33. Gets it out in a hurry. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Second and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll bring up third and four. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He steps up at the 41. Excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Arizona's offense came out of the gate like gangbusters, but they have slowed things down now. I just don't sense the same energy from this team that we saw early in the game when they just came out. They were ready. They were excited. It seems that they've kind of let their foot off the accelerator, but now they're opening up an opportunity for this team to get back into this game and maybe take the lead. 
fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Now he pitches it. Tackle made right around the 34. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it fourth and inches. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He really got a hold of that one. The Buffaloes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan we need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. It's a great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Steps out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Game seven on the play. Third down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. We're about set to start things up again. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. And he's hit immediately. Taken down at the 30. He's under some heat. Fires quickly and it's picked off. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. First and 10, ball on the 45. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he is drilled at the 34. Number six brings him down at the 34 yard line. First down. I'm coming, I'm coming. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 26. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. He lost the ball, picks up the loose ball. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense.
you know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. He makes his way out to about the 35. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. Seven-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. They'll line it up again on third down. Makes it to the 38-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. The Wildcats lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but it is noteworthy. Less than six yards per pass attempt. Now, we talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk plays. Not getting it in this game might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. The, the hardest thing for a corner is always facing a speedster, facing somebody that can stretch the field because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you, you know, take away that deep ball first and bail out of there. And then sometimes it opens up the underneath stuff where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has to find playmakers. They got to find ways to take shots, run some different routes to find some creative ways to get some guys open. Because right now, the little dink and dunk stuff isn't working. You're not threatening me down the field. I don't need to cover the whole field. We're bringing everybody up near the line of scrimmage and just taking away the short stuff. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Makes it to the 41. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 40. And they make the stop at about the 49. Gets out to about the 48 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's 
got an opening. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's immediately tackled. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Just throws this one away. This is the 11th play of this drive. some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. Arizona is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. After the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Nice play across the middle. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's a deep 12 on the ball. That makes it first and goal. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Check down. Alert, predator, predator. Shut down. Motion, motion. Check Tackle around the seven-yard line. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Here's the eighth play of the series. out to the tailback on the screen. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. <laughs> Scores 
So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he's level at the 24-yard line. That'll bring up second and He's gobbled up in the backfield. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. From their own 20-yard line, third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Tosses across the middle to his tight end, and he's taken down around the 27-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. 21-7, Wildcats. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. field and he hits him hard at the 40. First down. From their own 40 yard line. First down. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of He goes downtown and they intercept it. The junior safety. That's a great tackle at the 37. First and 10, ball on the 37. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 46 yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. 
Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Down! Blue 78! And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Fourth and six. yard line. From their own 19 yard line. First down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. That's what I do. Mike, check 33. 33. Go! What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 33. Check Mike 33. Go! Go! 64! Go! Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Just under three to go in regulation. Pulls in the pass and steps out. That was a clutch play on fourth down, but they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. Going long. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. He's taken down at about the 11. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Knocked out of bounds right around the four-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. This is the ninth play of this drive. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he is drilled at the 19. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. He's got to throw it in a hurry. 
He's knocked out of bounds at about the 21. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Colorado's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yeah, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space, and it's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10. Ball on the 48. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. That's good for the end of the yards. That makes it first and 10. He launches one for the end zone. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And here's a quick throw. the ball for a nice game. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 22. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 21-14, Wildcats. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curve Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.